Well, I've had that problem of accidentally closing these because I'm holding my phone, but, um, so, mint, oh wait, no, no, that's mint, representing animals. I discuss spiritual authority and some experience with the death. I watched, I will give this, I would give this magical advice to my 19, uh, to my 16 year old self, um, an EA quoting video. I watched 13 through 16 of the great ideas of philosophy, and that is the program I watched every day of the rest of the week. Yep. Um, and so on the Tuesday, the 24th, 13 through 16 of same program. I listened to the excerpts for the Ek Dream 2 discourses thrice, 6.30 to 6.58 a.m. It was was the meditation with the fifth Anokin key. Now, I strongly recommend, rather than just, okay, I've listened to it, that sort of thing, uh, making a study of... It doesn't have to be written. It doesn't have to be uh, expressed in art or something, but a study of spiritual material where you go through it and some sort of understanding or practice or something has left its mark. Uh, aphrodisiac was a symbolism of mint. I read page 196 to 232 of the Great Ideas of Philosophy Course Guidebook, 233 to 284 large course guidebook. Of course, I listened to Sayed Abu Alala Maududi, Sir 1 and 2. And Pamelo, representing refreshing. Clove, representing aphrodisiac. Cloves are getting expensive. Um, but you can symbolically use any scent that you want as a scent offering unto what you worship. Cinnamon, representing consecration. Ginger, representing love. Is true fragrance. Is, it, is that myrrh, representing dreams? Are black magicians anarchists? Well, obviously if you want to change your consciousness, there's a method to it. And so therefore there has to be some order. Although you can let go of uh, certainly the drug use is something that people use in their sorcery to my home stop that's it. okay uh, I watched Great Ideas of Philosophy 13 through 16 now let me go up here to show you see this is the volume I had started on there or I was working on. And this is one that I'm listening to right now. Uh, well, actually, I, I just listened to that one. Um, Baham Akron, there's not a printed edition of this. Um, is Ali Kulikari. Okay, that's not who I was thinking of. I was trying to think of if this... Um, So, let's, let's get down again. And, okay, where am I? Pomelo refreshing, okay. My honest... Something. Um, was that the video after E.A. Quitting got arrested with, with meth and cocaine and stuff? Um, with his... Who he recently broke up with. Um, he's has... Um, recently he admitted that um, like a week or... So, uh, over a week ago he used a bunch of cocaine with some friends. Um... But he already told us that he wasn't sober, so... And if you're smoking and all that says, or drink 
five cups of coffee a day and half a pack of cigarettes get smoked. And it's like, well, don't act like you're drug free. And he didn't. So at least that hypocrisy wasn't there. I watched 13 through 16 of the great ideas of philosophy. Um, I read The Mystical World of Ekankar, March 2015, volume 47, number one. You know, I, I would like to have the whole series. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to pay like even a dollar an issue. That's that's quite a thing, you know, because that's like uh, 120 bucks or something. That Well, not 120 bucks, more like 200. But um, now it would be interesting to have the whole series. I'm not sure I can car would want people to have the whole series that don't have the whole series, but um, 1.20 to 4.55 a.m., Spiritual Exercise, The Ectorine 1 Discourses, Week 3, Day 4. Um, one thing that people tend to learn who quit Ekankar is basically how to invent spiritual exercises. If they haven't figured that out already, some people need to join groups like that to just, you know, um, or maybe they still can't, but, but they get a lot of ideas of stuff that, that a person can do. Um, pomelo, representing bounty. I mean, it's, it's a big citrus fruit, so that makes sense. Clove, exorcism. Cinnamon, divination. Ginger, love. Oh, 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 is that, uh, um, nutmeg? Nutmeg, that's what I'm thinking of. So it was dreams that time, and then it was clairvoyance. Now some people have too much nutmeg, and they, it's like, but there's toxicity to some of that. A lot of the highs that people seek come with the damage, either through adulterants or through smoking or it's just too much of something to handle. It's like wormwood. Uh, you can have a pinch a day for the rest of your life and never never do any damage. Uh, maybe you have more, and you do a little bit of damage, but you're sick, and it's, it's, you know, it's just the price you got to pay to heal yourself. Um, but, yeah, uh, so 923 to 942 a.m., Enochian Key 7. I listen to Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi, Surah 3 and 4, of course, with the Arabic. And let me point out there that I'm not advocating the use of any intoxicant except for survival purposes. Um, if you can't eat, you know, don't, don't criticize me because every, every so many years or months or whatever that I, that I take a painkiller to readjust my sleep uh, cycle and um, our the poppy seed method or whatever, um, just to get some, uh, just to eat and get to sleep. Um, you know, I've done that before. So, you know, um, I'm not going to criticize anybody for doing what they need to do to survive. Friday, I read page 185 to 329 of the course guidebook, uh, number 4200. I listened to Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi, Surah 5 and 6. Um, Pomelo, representing stimulating. Clove, representing to keep away negative forces. Cinnamon. Meditation. Ginger, psychic growth. Nutmeg, representing rest. Enochian Key 8, 949 to 10.05 a.m. And the Saturday, I watched three, 13 through 16 of the Great Ideas of Philosophy. I did that Sunday as well. I read I, I, v, uh, I mean I to VII and 1 through 58 of Baha'i Prayers. I will be adjusting more of those as time goes by. I guess it's my 4th of July program. Um, and 59 through 110 of Baha'i Prayers the next day. Um, I watched 13 through 
15, the great idea. It's a relig- American Unearthed. Uh, American Unearthed. What programs did I watch? 11 and 12. Um, okay. Sleep, a symbolism of mint. Ginger, sensuality. Some people are going to be all, if you know sensuality, it's like, well, that's one of our bodies, we can say, is the physical body relies on sensuality and your, your feelings. It's like, I'm not going to criticize anybody for feelings, certain acts, certainly. Um, 742 to 750 a.m., Nokian Key Nokian Vomed. Hold on, let me flip that. Is it? I'm not even sure. That's kind of bumbled there. Is it? Uh, am I? Is it supposed? It sh- looks like it contains nine, but it looks like it contains other letters. Two. Um, well, it looks like it has the number nine and the Enochian letter M, so nine. Um, orange scent offering. Representing, I'm not sure. Listen to Sayyid Abu Alala Mount Duty, Surah 7 and 8. The next day, Surah 10. Uh, was it weddings? Orantium? Weddings, maybe. Um, wealth, the next day. Love, a symbolism of ginger. Transformation, a symbol of mint. And I went to the, on that Sunday. I, 9 through... 11.45 a.m., the Eck Worship Service, Let Go and Let God, The Great Ideas of Philosophy, 13 through 16. And so let's look at March. Interpreting and speaking, minimizing, filling the silence, daydreaming, asking to think. Okay, so I was copying out the listening cards, and you see there are symbols here. And so I was listening out what I... was using in the new form of the Almadel. perhaps on the sides, to represent the cosmology of the angels. Now, am I worshipping angels? No, no, I've never worshipped angels as far as I know. Because, um, see, it's an interesting little diagram. It's not as easy to etch little characters in salt as uh, in, in, uh, in, in wax, as one thinks. Um I listened to so many programs on the Furrier Down Rasti channel that I thought to listen them all out. But basically, the Avestan prayers, uh, much of which should, um, in this year, 1441, that I plan to read out that prayer book, if nothing else. And I also plan to read out the one book and comment on that as well. Um, what is the name of the book? Uh, yeah, the yellow one over there. Um, and I also have the translator. Um, there is more material, I guess, at some point I'm going to catch up. And and um, I've never seen the whole, the whole of the Yasna. All seventy-two of them are on his channel now, and I've never seen uh, I've never seen that done. Um, but so I guess it's really it really is the year for me to put out the English of that. Maybe I'll just have that three volume set, the Benedad and whatnot from the eighteen hundreds, and and share that. Um, so Monday, the second of March, read sixty-one through one hundred and twenty of the Tawa, 
essential rulings for every Muslim woman by Ibn Makbul Hassan Hussein. Um, I listened to Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi, Surah, uh, I mean, par, yeah, Surah 16 through 19, Bayan al Quran, Surah 5 and 6. And there was a mint snapped offering representing love, ginger representing healing, orange representing fertility. Enochian Key 19, author 11, 644 to 8 a.m. I watched 13 through 16 of the Great Ideas of Philosophy. Um, 13 through 16, I listened to Sayyid Abu Alala Mount Duties, Surah 14 through 16. Oh, so it's... Eleven through thirteen on Monday, um, I watched why summon evil demons like Satan and Astaroth. Some people will say, if you worship other than God, does it really matter? Well, psychologically, it matters. So, other than that, it's shirk is shirk. I mean, there's major shirk, minor shirk, whatever. Um. Watch, okay, okay, uh, um, Tuesday the 3rd, I don't know what I muttered in my, I made some sounds for a second, I'm not sure what I, what it sounded like I said, so, no, um, youthful, chocolate, offerings to the divine, well, all my sent offerings are offerings to the divine, right? Caraway, representing memory. Enochian, key 12, 802 or 807 to 842 a.m. Sapa with father. Said it a lot more, obviously, but I thought to mark down at times when he was visiting by extra practices that I did with my father. Um... I read page 111 to 162 of Baha'i Prayers. It's a green book with like a nine-pointed star on it. And on the Wednesday, 121 through 180. And Supa with Father twice. I read... Fifty-one through fifty. Oh, Surah fifty-one and fifty-two with the you know Assad translation. Um, oh, the Rashid Khalifa translation. I read. I read that to my father. Um, chocolate sent offering representing comfort. Now. It's really the worst. The Rosh Khalifa translation is really the least accurate one that I've ever heard of anybody claiming to be a Muslim do. And he did list the two verses that end Surah 9, but he pretended like they were not part of the Quran um, because he didn't like it. it. I want this to occur such and such a number of times, and it turned out your number 19 coincidences occur even more if you include those two verses, but he didn't figure that out, so he tried to kick some out, and he wanted to call himself a prophet of God, and it's like, honestly, you know, these real scriptures are supposed to speak to everybody, you're not terribly special, and um, don't, it's like, oh, wait, everything bad, it's like, well, that's a warning to change, it's not that, um, you know, not, and the fact he changed his experience that he claimed before it became really public, 17 years, his, what he t said about it changed over the years before he declared himself a messenger of God. It's like, you think God would have called a messenger who would have kept it silent for 17 years? And a messenger, well, there's this book of scripture that's been preserved, and I'm, I think everybody should follow it. It's like, that doesn't make you a prophet, and let let this be as let's this be an address to the Baptists too. I watched seventeen through twenty of the Great Ideas of Philosophy, experiencing 
soul travel, um, a key insight to divination. That must have been an EA quitting program. An Okian key 6, 727 through 8, 04 a.m. 17 through 19 of Sayyid Abu al Alama duty. Caraway Fidelity. I watched the Magic Law of Reversal. Okay, that must have been an e-equating video too. Um, now, in watching whatever video I do, it's not that I agree with everything or anything like that. So, um, I read Surah 53 to 55, the Rosh Khalifa translation to Father. I said, Subha with him thrice. Enochian Key 19, author 15, 711 through 913 a.m. I listened to Sayyid Abu al Duty, Surah 20 through 23. Why not bind a spirit to jewelry? Hey, if, if, I, if what I do attracts things, it's like I don't feel like I need to. If it's a practice that I'm acceptable of, if I'm accepting of, unless I repent of that practice... Um, I may switch from stuff and not do it again without repenting. Um, but, you know, if, if it's a practice I'm accepting of, you know, if the, the, my beliefs and intentions with it were, you know, why in the world would I banish whatever's been attracted? So, whatever. If spirits want to show up to my painting or angels or whatever, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to cause any problems for them. Um. I watch, okay, uh, I also on the Friday, I watched 17 through 20 of the Great Ideas of Philosophy. I listened to Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi, Surah 24 through 26. Supa with Father Thrice, uh, you know, on the Saturday. And I read 163 to 219 of the Baha'i Prayers. Uh, the Baha, eh? The Baha. Eh, yeah, um, glottal stop. Um, I watched 17 through 20 of the great ideas of philosophy, America Unearthed, series, uh, I mean, episode, uh, season 5, episode 13, Ancient Cold Case, season 1, episode 6, Eucalyptus Sent Offering, uh, a lot more regular thing nowadays, um, Renewal. I read Surah 60 of the Rashid Khalifa translation to Father. Um, I try to read a Quran translation, and we talk about it um, every year. I listen to Sayyid Abu Alala Maududi, Surah 23, uh, I mean 27 to 30. Um, transformation, uh, Rashid Khalifa translation, Surah 56 through 59. Um, on that Sunday, the 220 to 258 of the Baha'i, the Baha'i prayers, um, Great Ideas of Philosophy, I listened to Sam Abu Alala Maududi, 31 through 35. If I miss something and it looks like I skipped chapters, I didn't, um... Enochian Key 19. That would be F. Uh, so 19. Author 16. 11.39 a.m. to 12.25 p.m. That's one that I personally... Um, I keep returning to that one. There's more information to be had. I have concepts going on, but I want to have a certain level of experience before moving on. Now, I can path work with people. I can path work on my channel. Um, I mean, you know, privately and publicly, I can do that sort of thing. But there are certain ones that I'm just going to regularly return to them once a month or several times a year or something until I have more than just ideas about them. Um, chocolate representing cognition, carom representing retention, citrus arantium, youthful. Now, 
Magical tools, right? So magical tools, what, what do we need to do with magical tools? We should probably look at some sort of variety. Um, figure out what they mean or what they mean to you. Um, I know, I know I have some chants that I don't quite have the meaning for. If Merck's Erzhuz, Zestov, Oro, Argus, Orizics, you know, I don't think I have the meaning of Erzhuz. And if the meaning to Erzhuz comes before Sunday night, or if it doesn't come before Sunday night, that chant and these other elements, I'm, I mean, Nefilm, Zuk, Iznal, Nuz, Ge, Nalu, Fu, Yom, Zeh. So those nine vibrations I, uh, for the seasonal point, um, other than the fact that it contains the date, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, but I know my intentions with these things. And don't feel like you have to follow a tradition just because a tradition is there. Um, fragments may exist in different groups, and that's, that's perfectly fine to uh, take what you really believe in. But don't be liberally wishy-washy and just, um, ah, I'm not going to really practice or believe or whatever. I'm just, it's just, um, try to do what is right. Try to do what is best. 